This is Tony from Cooking Around. Uh, today, we're gonna make uh, banana crepes. The filling is gonna be a banana mixture. So if you follow along, I'll show you what to do. The pan is already uh, preheated, but in order to test the pan to see how, if it's working or not, just throw a couple drops of water. If it sizzles like that quickly, you know that it's ready. So what we're going to do first is we're going to take um, about a little bit less than a quarter cup of butter. By the way, for everybody out there in metric, uh, one cup is 250 mils. So if anybody just wants to know, so just move that around until it melts. Now we don't want the temperature too high because we don't want to burn the, the butter. So I have it on basically a little bit less than medium. Now when the butter is melted, we take one quarter cup of brown sugar and we mix that in really well with the butter. And just give it a couple of minutes for the butter and the sugar to blend together. Um, you could add more sugar if you want. You can add white sugar if you want. I like using brown. Now we add about a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. Well, cinnamon, 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 just about a quarter teaspoon, not one. And we add a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. Of course, this one is Polish. Uh, it's called, I'm not even, Gawaka, Gawaka. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that one. And move that all around. Now at this point, you can increase the heat just a little bit because the butter is already blended in with the sugar. And, it, and then increase the heat just a little bit more and we add one cup of coffee cream. Now, I like using coffee cream half and half instead of the 100% cooking cream because it, to me, it's less fattening. So now we're gonna bring that to a boil. Now the milk is starting to boil. Keep an eye on it because you don't want this thing to boil over. Once it starts to boil, reduce the temperature a little bit and keep on stirring until it starts to thicken. Now you can see it is starting to thicken and I have been continuously stirring. Now you can see that it has started to thicken somewhat. So at this point what we're going to do is I took three bananas and I had them halved like that. So now what you do is you take these bananas and you just put the pieces of the banana inside, reduce the heat a little bit more, and just don't put the bananas on top of each other. And then what we're gonna do is I keep the bananas all to one side, and then I grab the spoon, and I'm gonna let it cook for another two, three minutes, taking our sauce or our mixture, let that cook now for two, three minutes with the bananas, and we'll let that sit there for two, three minutes. As you can see, it's coming really, really nicely. Just keep on taking the sauce and pouring it over the bananas. And we have another minute to go. And then when we let it cool down, the sauce will get really, really thick as it cools down. Letting all the flavors intermingle with each other, which is gonna give us a real superb, superb taste. And so far, that's basically it. Now, we turn it off and let it cool. Well, here it is, it's been cooling down for about 10 minutes and you can see that it has really, really thickened. Now, what we do, put that to the side. We grab a working plate and we come over here and we have one of the crepes that, that I made and it's on my other videos if you want to learn how to make that. And you come over here and you grab one of the bananas. Be very careful because they do break easy. And you put it right about two inches from the edge. And you grab some of this sauce and you just pour it right over the banana like that. Now what you do, very, very simple. You grab like this and bring it over like that. 
and just roll. Bring it back, roll. Don't worry about the mess on the side. And there you have and we're back. First and here is our finished crepes with uh, banana filling. And it is absolutely, absolutely perfect. And like everything to be perfect, we have to have now the taste test. And let's see how this tastes. Perfectly cooked, perfectly. The sauce is absolutely awesome. Take a little bit of the whipped cream. Take a little bit of the whipped cream. I know it's a little bit fatty with the whipped cream, but I just can't help myself. And we're going to try that. Mmm, mmm, oh, is that ever good? I'm going to have to have another little tiny piece just to make sure that it has been done right. If you could just taste that, it's absolutely 100% delicious. And if you want to see how to do the crepes, just check out my other video. And thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you on my next video.